A linear time invariant system is described by the following input output relation 2y of n minus y of n minus 2 minus 4y of n minus 3 is equal to 3x of n minus 2. Realize the system in the following forms direct form 1 realization, direct form 2 realization. Let me consider the given equation that is 2y of n minus y of n minus 2 minus 4y of n minus 3 is equal to we have 3x of n minus 2. Let me rewrite this expression as 2y of n is equal to 3x of n minus 2. I will write all these terms on RHS. It will be plus y of n minus 2 plus 4 y of n minus 3 or I can write y of n is equal to 3 by 2 that is 1.5 x of n minus 2 plus 0 0.5 y of n minus 2 plus 4 by 2 is 2 y of n minus 3. So here x of n is the input and y of n is the output. Now with the help of this difference equation let me draw the direct form 1 realization direct form 1 realization so here x of n is input y of n is output say this point is x of n we need x of n minus 2 it should pass through two delay elements that is z inverse is known as delay element the output of this will be x of n minus 1 when it is passed through another delay element say z inverse the output here it is x of n minus 2 now it should be multiplied with the scaling factor is 1.5 so we have to mark like this this is 1.5 it should be added with 0.5 y of n minus 2 let me take one adder here. Here I will connect this one. So let this be output y of n. So now I need y of n minus 2. It means this is y of n pass through one delay element. The output here it is y of n minus 1 pass through another delay element. So here the output is y of n minus 2 it should be multiplied with 0.5 here it is 0 0.5 it should be added with y of n minus 3 so here y of n minus 2 is available pass through another delay element so output here is y of n minus 3 the multiplication factor or scaling factor here it is 2 so this output should be added with this so i will use one more adder here it is added here and this one will be connected to this. So now this is 0.5 y of n minus 2 plus 2 y of n minus 3. It should be added with 1.5 y of n minus. So here I will use one more adder. I will connect this one to here. This is adder. Connect this one to here. So this is the direct form one realization. So here these two plus can be replaced by single plus that will be same. That is let me do the same thing. So I will replace this with a single plus. So this is direct form one realization. So now let me draw the direct form 2 realization that is direct form 2 realization. So now to realize direct form 2 realization just we have to swap these two blocks. First let me draw this block that is this block I will draw as it is. So that is I have the circuit like this and here we have 
z inverse z inverse z inverse and here 0.5 so from here there is a connection adder is connected that is 0.5 and here it is connected like this this is 2 and output of this is connected to here so now in direct form 2 realization to this block directly input is connected x of n is connected here now this block is connected ahead of this so just we have to swap these two block so this block and that block will be swapped that is first i will draw this block adjacent to this connected with this i will connect this block so here now the uh, signal is passed through two delay elements so now signal is available here it is passed through two delay elements then it is multiplied with a factor 0.5 so here it is passed through two delay elements multiplied with 1.5 and this one is connected to output side now it will be directly connected to output side this is y of n so this is how the direct form 2 realization can be done now let me explain the another way of implementing direct form 2 realization so let me write the same expression that is y of n is equal to we have 1.5 x of n minus 2 now let me take the z transform of this that is taking z transform I can get y of z is equal to 1.5 z power minus 2 x of z plus 0 0.5 z power minus 2 y of z plus 2 z power minus 3 y of z or I can represent it as y of z minus 0 0.5 z power minus 2 y of z minus 2 z power minus 3 y of z is equal to 1.5 we have z power minus 2 x of z or i can represent it as y of z 1 minus 0 0.5 z power minus 2 minus 2 z power minus 3 is equal to 1.5 z power minus 2 x of z so therefore y of z divided by x of z is equal to i have 1.5 z power minus 2 divided by 1 minus 0 0.5 z power minus 2 minus 2 z power minus 3 so we know that y of z by x of z is nothing but transfer function h of z so here in h of z the numerator is with respect to zeros denominator is with respect to poles so i will divide this h of z block as into two sub blocks that is h1 of z and h2 of z which are connected in cascade input to this is say x of z and output is say y of z now i will consider the first block h1 of z is with respect to poles second block with respect to zeros let the output of first block is w of z h1 of z is equal to output by input that is w of z divided by x of z which is equal to as i said h1 of z is with respect to poles poles means denominator that is one upon 1 minus 0 0.5 z power minus 2 minus 2 z power minus 3 so therefore now i can write it as w of z 1 minus 0 0.5 z power minus 2 minus 2 z power minus 3 is equal to x of z or i can write it as w of z minus 0 0.5 z power minus 2 w of z minus 2 z power minus 3 w of z is equal to x of z 
now taking inverse z transform i can write it as w of z inverse z transform is w of n minus 0.5 w of n minus 2 minus 2 w of n minus 3 is equal to x of n let me call it as equation 1 so now let me consider h2 of z so let h2 of z is equal to we have y of z divided by w of z y of z divided by w of z which is equal to as i said h2 of z is with respect to zeros zeros means numerator that is 1.5 z power minus 2 z power minus 2 or i can write it as y of z is equal to 1.5 z power minus 2 w of z or by taking inverse z transform i can write y of n is equal to 1.5 w of n minus 2 i will call it as equation 2 write the equation 1 as w of n is equal to 0 0.5 w of n minus 2 plus 2 w of n minus 3 plus x of so now let me use this expression to draw the structure direct form 2 so here let this line is x of n that is input plus we have 2 w of n minus 3 so assume that this point is w of n so x of n should be added with w of n minus 2 so this w of n pass through two delay elements z minus 1 we have z minus 1 so here it is w of n minus 2 it is multiplied with 0.5 so let me take here it is 0 0.5 i will take one adder here it should be added with w of n minus 3 so pass through another delay element z minus 3 here signal available is w of n minus 3 so it should be multiplied with 2 and added with this so now these two signals will be added with x of n it should be this output of this is added with this so i will use one adder here it is connected here so this is x of n now with the help of equation 2 that is y of n is equal to 1.5 w of n minus 2 so here now let this is point y of n that is output we have y of n should be 1.5 w of n minus 2 so here w of n minus 2 is available from this i will take this is w of n minus 2 multiplied with 1.5 that is this is 1.5 connected to output so this is direct form 2 structure so you can compare this block with this block both are same this is how we can implement direct form 2 structure so you can follow any method either the previous one or this one to realize direct form 2 structure thank you for watching